and you being a family therapist of, of uh, you know, great knowledge, could you just talk a little bit more about how families work with anxiety and, and, and a guy that's surrounded by women, how he, how he manages that? Depends on the women. I guess, know? I guess. So I do think that um, anxiety is a life force as we would think about it from a systems view. Uh, we're in a culture that talks a lot about anxiety, about diagnosing people with anxiety, diagnosing people who have depression. This is going to be a very different conversation today than that, because the diagnosing, um, there was a, a saying long ago I heard, I think it was Andrew Solomon who said, uh, diagnosis is an impediment to insight. He was referring to the Adam Lanza when the, the shooting uh, that occurred up in Connecticut and how he was diagnosed and diagnosed and diagnosed. And then everybody stops thinking about what else is going on here. And so in a family unit, let's say a child gets a diagnosis and the family calms down and they say, oh, thank God, we now know our child has this diagnosis. We can deal with it. But they stop looking. What am I doing to make this worse or better? What are his siblings doing to make this worse or better? So in this way of thinking, the family is the unit and the family has a degree of anxiety as a life force that's always looking to land its plane to focus on somewhere so that people can calm down. So this today is going to be a little bit different. And I just think it might be, it might be smart to start with guys in their family. Okay. And so how would a guy start to think about how he became a guy and what he learned about being a guy? As I said at the beginning, I grew up with an older and a younger brother. And then I had an older sister as well. And it totally formed my personality, completely formed my personality. And so that's what I would want people thinking about. What's the constellation they grew up with? A brother with seven older sisters is a very different man than a brother of seven brothers. We got a whole different guy going here. So that would be number one. Okay, that, that, that's an interesting concept that's rarely even thought about. Uh, you know, there's a family context going on here that forms who, who we are. And that's where we kind of learn basic relational skills is in our, our family. And for so often that just kind of neglected other than, well, I, my parents were not nice to me or something like that. So. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And kind of this idea that we've moved on from that as adults, when in fact, most of what we bring to the table at work and in our relationships comes out of those automatic things that we learned in, you know, in the family. And we'll talk some more about that as we go along. What does that mean? That What did we learn that we bring to the table? I, I think another question that... 